What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be about Yuhi's Repro 1 and 5. It's going to be a quick video on the interface, some of the presets, uh, and my opinion on it. I'm hoping that this helps those who are thinking about purchasing this VST. And yeah, so let's just get right into it. So Repro 1 is a mono synthesizer no you want one you gonna have to get the other it just it's just like that so um mono synths pretty much you can only play like one voice at a time and again i'm not like you no know, a professional sound designer i do know like the basics but the uh, mono synth you can do one note at a time and the la it always plays the usually the last note that's played so with let's just do c for instance you feel me? In fact, let me go to, let me initialize this drum right quick. Um, Alright, so yeah. Default preset. Now, if you went to put, I don't know, let's do like a C major, it won't work. Because it's a mono synth. It's just not gonna work. But if you were to do two notes and hold one down and then play the other, that'll work. So you got C and then E. That's a mono synth compared to a poly synth where you could, you know, actually play your chords. So you're probably wondering, you know, why would anyone want a mono synth? Well, I think mono synths are the shit. They make like really unique noises. And I'm not saying the other synths don't, but uh, I think it, I think they're called motifs. You can make like really unique motifs with, in my opinion, with mono synths. Um, uh, the repro, if I'm not mistaken, is modeled after the uh, Dave Smith Profit Instruments. I could be wrong, um, but yeah, I mean, like you, I mean, you just have so many unique sounds that you can get with a, a, a mono synth uh, compared to a, a poly synth. Um, a mono synth, you're not really gonna, you know, you're not gonna be playing chords on your mono synth. Um, you're gonna, again, one notes at a time different different stuff I, I really can't explain it but that's what a mono synth is compared to a poly synth now repro one um the reason why i like this is because of the crazy crazy sounds that they have i mean if you're into like unique vintage weird ass sounds not your typical you know flute your typical violin trumpet and shit like that then I think this is the you know the the the, the VST for you. Um, and if you see my other videos, you know I have you know Omnisphere and Electrax. I got all of them. But me personally, I like vintage sounding sounds, vintage noises, just weird noises. I mean, I'll go through some of them for you. shit like that like that's the you know the mellow flute uh chords you know they have like a chord preset for you because you obviously can't play chords on a mono synth some of the weird effects arpeggiators Arpeggios, excuse me. But you'll notice on the arpeggio section, if you play two, like, you know, two notes at a time, that's when the arpeggiation will start. Like, if you just did one note, it's not going to work. But if you did two notes, you can get it to... Just weird stuff. Uh, the 1981 historic section. And then some of the mono simps are known for their bases. <laughs> You 
feel me? Like the Moog Sub 37 is known for its basses, even though it's more than that. Um, but again, that's Repro 1. Um, some of the things, like again, it's a very, very powerful synth. You can do a lot of stuff with it. You have your oscillators. Let me um, take this back to the init initiation or whatever. So you got your default, I mean, you got your oscillators. Oscillator A, oscillator B. So two oscillators. You know, your mixer, you got your filters cut off. Um, your ADSRs. Um, you can modulate pretty much everything on here. This perform section is really unique because it's more, you know, modulation. Like you can drag something to something. The crazy, and then it gets even crazier with these, these tweaks. You can tweak these. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, but they also have effect sections. So maybe you want some reverb. Um, let's see what a reverb is. What is it? The, uh... I think it's the library one of these damn things maybe it's the drench yeah um a compressor all types of stuff i mean just dive into it mess some shit up see what it does i recommend but again this is uh repro one mono synth it's the shit. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, I like this. Of course, Omnisphere, but um, Repro is the shit. I'm sorry, it, it really is. Uh, Omnisphere, you you got more. It's more like a universal. You know, like I personally don't know how to create these type of sounds in Omnisphere because I don't think Omnisphere is a, a mono synth, but. I'm not taking away from Omnisphere. Omnisphere is the shit. It's definitely a must-have in your arsenal. But after a while, you start to develop a specific sound that's best for you. And you start to gravitate towards VSTs that work for you and your sound. And the the, the vintage sounding synths um, is more for you know what I like. Not to say it's not for you, you and what you like. Um, but it, it took me to have Omnisphere to realize, all right, what do I like? You know, uh, a lot of people go to Omnisphere for, you know, for their bells. I like the sounds of bells, but I'm not really using it that much. Um, their pads and, I mean, but again, that this is not about Omnisphere. Uh, it's about Repro. So, that's that. Of course, you got your settings where you can um, connect certain knobs and whatnot to. Um, it's the shit your pitch will your modulation will um so yeah that's repro one now let's go to repro five all right very similar to repro one um this is repro five uh, again I, I think these are modeled after the dave smith profit instruments um the difference main difference between repro one and repro five is it's a polysynth so you can play your chords. Let me uh, go to initiation process. Um, yeah, so C major chord. If I knew how to fucking play it. You feel me? chords um believe it or not i use repro one a little bit more than five but again it's very similar you have your two oscillators your mixer your adsrs in this section um you can modulate almost anything again you have your tweaks where you can get further in depth in your tweaks let's run through the uh presets right quick for you so like the leads That's a really nice noise. Got that Drake type feel to it. Um, it's 
some piano and organs. Chords. That's another reason why I like, you know, the repros, because they just have like crazy sound. Like, um, Historic. For the most part, again, you got your effects down here. We can add reverb, some compression, some delays, your LFO that you can modulate. Let me see if I can take this back to the init, show you some modulation. So, different wave shapes. You can do both the saw and the square. Um, say I want to throw on some LFO. I'm gonna go here. So we want another LFO. We want this LFO to modulate. Let's see. Let's go with the octave. Oh no, we can't. Um, let's try. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so you just mess around with this stuff. Those are the Repro uh, VSTs, Repro 1 and 5. Now, those are the stuff that I like about it. Now, what do I dislike? All right, that's probably what y'all waiting on. What should you be aware of? Here's the catch to such a great ass software, to a great bundle. It takes up a lot of real estate on your computer. I mean, it just, the fucking... Like, you saw my shit chopping a little bit. Like, you, you start playing some chords on this bitch with both of them open, you're going to be clipping, chopping. Like, this number up here is going to go up to the 80s, man. That's the only thing I dislike about it. Like, it takes up a lot of fucking, I don't know if it's that memory, bit, space, whatever you call that shit, RAM, it puts a strain on your fucking computer. So, definitely have a strong enough I guess processor, mine is i7, but if you have a bunch of these motherfuckers open, as soon as you go to the fucking playlist and you got all your other shit, it's going to fuck up, so chances are, you're going to have to render your MIDI into audio so you can play your shit, so please be prepared for that, please expect that, but, I mean, I, you got to, for the sounds that you get, I guess they come with a price, and, and that's the price, you feel me, so yeah, that's Repro 1. Check it out. Got your tweaks, your sequencers. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the sequencers. You can do like, you can create your own arpeggiations, pretty much. Um, I haven't messed around with it too much to tell you, but you got your, uh, let me see if I can. Let me see some. So, I'm going to turn it on. Let me see, record. Yeah, I gotta fuck around with it a little bit more, but yeah, you can uh, create your own sequences. Uh, it's the shit. These are your presets. You can, you know, save your own, redo, master tone. Uh, that's Repro 1, same with 5, you know, you got your synth, you can tweak even further, and you have up to, how many voices, 8 voices, yeah, again, I use uh, Repro 1 a little bit more than 5, but yeah, man, you, 
so I doubt that you can. I don't know if you can do appreciation with the Repro 5, but yeah, definitely check it out. If you're thinking about getting it, I got it during Black Friday, so it was a really good sale. I was not going to miss out on it. I know a lot of people get the Hive from Yuhi. Um, also, a lot of people like the Diva from Yuhi, but um, if you're into the vintage synths, this is the one to get, uh, Repro 1 and 5. It's the shit. You won't regret it. It's just going to put a little strain on your... Uh, your computer but again there's a there's a loophole around it you can render out your shit i hope this helps man i hope y'all make some hits uh follow me at we grind out wine bb on instagram subscribe to the video or to the channel like the video um comment down below with uh, what you guys want to see next grab it if you like your bash what should i do should i go grab this drawing yeah definitely cop this repro one and five it's this shit i'm actually about to cook up with it be on the lookout for my Arteria uh, 5 uh, Collection 8 video that I'm going to make pretty soon, God willing. Um, I'm going to go through all the vintage synths on that as well. Um, but yeah, this is just for the, the Yuhi. But I'm about to get up out of here, cook up a quick beat right quick. The Sixers play the Nets tonight. KD bitch and he don't want to play. But uh, alright, like the video, comment down below, subscribe. I'm out this joint. Peace.